Now continuation of previous video. I hope electrical oscillations in LC circuit is clear to everyone. The next is <coughs> power in an AC circuit. Now in general we know the formula for power. Power is voltage into current. In general power is work upon time but that is for mechanics but in electricity power is voltage into current. Now this P equal to Vi is for direct current basically and if you take alternating current then power in an AC circuit depends upon voltage current, voltage and current but it also depends upon the phase angle between them. How? This we have to discuss. The power of an alternating current circuit depends upon voltage, current and phase difference between voltage and current as explained below. Let we take instantaneous values of EMF and, and current, voltage or current as E equal to E naught sin omega t and I equal to I naught sin omega t minus phi. And this phi suggests that there is a phase difference phi between EMF and current. EMF leads current by phase angle phi or we can say current lags behind E by phase angle phi. Now the instantaneous power P I N S equal to E I voltage into current we use the value of e e naught sin omega t i is i naught sin omega t minus phi e naught i naught taken together sin omega t written here sin omega t minus phi and here we'll apply sin a minus b hope you have studied this in trigonometry sin a cos b minus cos a sin b non-math students please listen this carefully sin a cos b minus cos a sin b e naught i naught sin omega t as it is the sin omega t cos phi minus cos omega t sin phi sin omega t cos phi minus cos omega t sin phi now if we take this sin omega t in then we'll get e naught i naught sin square omega t cos phi minus sin omega t cos omega t sin phi now here in this second term I'm making one change. I'm multiplying and dividing it by 2 just to convert 2 sin omega t cos omega t into sin 2 omega t. Non math student, please listen this very carefully. Sin omega t cos omega t 2. 2 sin omega t cos omega t changes to sin twice omega t. That means double the angle. As written here. So P I N S instantaneous power equal to E naught I naught sin square omega t cos phi minus that 2 sin omega t cos omega t changes to sin 2 omega t sin phi as it is and 2 as it is. Now this is the instantaneous power. Now in order to get the average power we have to integrate this expression. And the integration between 0 to capital T is required. I repeat the integration between 0 to capital T is required. It means you have to integrate this expression between 0 to capital T and capital T don't forget is 2 pi upon omega. I hope this point is clear. Capital T is 2 pi upon omega. Now once you integrate these two then the integration for full cycle of sin square omega t is half and that of sin 2 omega t is 0. You can use these values directly in this topic. If not satisfied, then please integrate sin square omega t and sin 2 omega t between the limit 0 to capital T and capital T is 2 pi upon omega. And don't forget to divide it by 2 pi upon omega. That means dividing it by time because we are considering integration of sin square omega t and sin 2 omega t for full cycle. Uh, why I am not showing the integration again because we had done this in RMS value of alternating current. Please go through that video again. For one complete cycle sin square omega t is half and sin 2 omega t is 0. Now using these two values here the second term vanishes and sin square omega t is just half. So the average power p in the circuit p equal to e naught i naught half cos phi minus 0 on removing 0 we'll get p equal to half e naught i naught cos phi now writing this 2 as under root 2 into under root 2 
and p equal to e naught by root two into i naught by root two cos pi. Now e naught by root two is e r m s, i naught by root two is i r m s, and cos pi. Just see. In general, we know the formula for power is voltage into current, but that is for direct current, DC, DC circuit. Here, if you check, power in case of an alternating current circuit, AC circuit, it's E R M S I R M S cos phi. It depends upon R M S values of voltage and current, and also upon the phase difference phi between these two. Now, what this cos phi is called? Cos phi is known as power factor. Now, please try to remember. In exam, you may get a question: What is the power factor in an AC circuit? So you have to just write cos phi. Please don't write the entire formula. E R M S I R M S cos phi. No, E R M S I R M S cos phi is the formula for power, and they are asking for power factor. The cos phi is power factor. Now, this power factor cos phi will have different values in different circuits that we'll discuss now. Listen this carefully. Cos phi is known as power factor of the circuit, and it depends upon the nature of the circuit. If the circuit is purely resistive, now imagine a case where the circuit is only resistance, no inductance, no capacitance. Then we all know that in case of a pure resistor, both current and EMF are in same phase, or both voltage and EMF. Sorry, both current and EMF are in same phase, or voltage and current are in same phase. Then voltage and current are in same phase. It means phi equal to zero. Now phi zero means cos phi equal to one. So in this circuit, this cos phi changes to one. We come up with P equal to E R M S I R M S. Now converting this I R M S by E R M S upon R. E R M S gets multiplied with this E R M S. So we'll get E R M S square upon capital R. If we convert this E R M S into I R M S into capital R, then we'll get I square suffix R M S into capital R. And remember, cos phi equal to plus one is the peak value. I repeat, is the peak value of power factor. It means, in case of a pure resistance, maximum loss of energy takes place. I repeat, since cos phi is plus one, which is the maximum value of power factor, so this suggests that in case of purely resistive circuit. Maximum power loss or energy loss takes place. Second, in an LR circuit, the phase difference phi. Hope you remember this case. We derived this for LR circuit. Ten phi equal to omega l upon r. I repeat, ten phi equal to omega l upon r. Now rearranging this and using impedance triangle. Hope. You remember impedance triangle, perpendicular omega l, base is capital R, and angle is phi. Hope you remember that. Now, what will be the value of this hypotenuse? Under root r square plus omega square l square. And if I calculate cos phi from here, cos phi is based upon hypotenuse. So cos phi, power factor of L R circuit, is given by r upon r square plus omega square l square, based upon hypotenuse. That's why impedance triangle plays an important role in AC circuit. Now, in this LR circuit, P equal to E R M S I R M S R upon under root R square plus omega square L square. Now, if we compare these two circuits, the value of cos phi is plus one, which is the maximum value of power factor for pure resistor. In this case, if you observe. R upon under root R square plus omega square L square. Now this is less than one. Numerator is smaller and denominator is bigger. Here power factor is equal to one. Here power factor is less than one. It means if you compare the power loss in resistor and in LR circuit, then the power loss in LR circuit is less. In comparison to that in pure resistive circuit, that's why to reduce current, alternating current, we prefer LR circuit instead of a resistor circuit. I'll continue in the next video.